Good morning, good morning, good morning. Thanking God for another day in the land of the living. Thank you, God, for another day. Hi, and I'm thankful that you have decided to check out my channel this morning. Once again, I come to you with a word of inspiration, a word of hope, courage, and love as you go out through your day. My name is Angel Howard, and I am thankful once again to be um, just giving you a, a, some, some encouragement because I am always encouraged every time I give a word of encourage. I also apply the same applications and encouragement to my, own, to my life, you know, to my own circumstances and situations. You know, I, um, I'm not perfect and I'm no therapist. I'm not a psychologist nor a psychiatrist. I, I'm just a, a, um, a learner by experience you know I'm, I'm a student of life I'm a student of life and I have experienced a lot of things all my life I've observed a lot of things I've studied a lot of things and um, you know I went to school for and just you know and I studied a lot of um, things as far as the um, social science of the world of today um, and things that are happening, um, economy, politics, everything, our spiritual life, pretty much how it all connects together. And what I want to speak on is something that we loosely, all of us do it, and sometimes we don't realize we do it. And it's not that we intend to do it, but it's sometimes it's just a habit. You know, sometimes we tend to say things that we don't mean to say, and that is just an everyday conversation or or pretty much anything you know sometimes we'll say you know I hate what I'm doing or um, this isn't gonna work out um, sometimes you'll speak something negative to yourself you know which is not good because you're speaking words that carry power and because we are speaking God created us with the spirit. He also gave us the same. He, we, we, we were created in the same image as he was. In the book of Genesis, God spoke that let there be light. And it was light. You know, he, he spoke the things into existence. And when he created the earth, he spoke it and it came forth. So if we are the image of God, and he's given us the same dominion. We have to, first of all, know who we are in Christ to know what power we carry. And so what we say with our words, they say sticks and stones may break your bones, but names will never hurt you. Well, I'm here to tell you that the words that come out of your house, your mouth, I'm sorry, not your house, but your mouth carry weight, carry power. The word and in, in the book of Proverbs seven, Proverbs seventeen, it says, "Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that eat, they that love it, shall eat the fruit thereof." So you got to think about it. Death and life are in the power of your tongue. You can either bless yourself or you can curse yourself. You can just by something you say, you know, and you can easily joke around and say oh that's not gonna happen oh that'll never work out oh my love life sucks or this job sucks you know people say that and you know what it'll really suck because guess why you said it would because your words carry power there is power in what you say. And that is why it's so important to when you pray that you make declarations. When you speak, speaking those things into existence. That I am the head and not the tail. That no weapon formed against me shall prosper. That I am a leader and not a follower. That I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And you know, you speak these things to yourself and just watch how things around you change. Watch how it change. And, you know, things that you say that you don't mean to say, that you've said and you said, oh my goodness, I said those things and I probably shouldn't have said it. I mean, I'm, I'm guilty of it too. 
you know, you just renounce those things that you said and say, God, I renounce those negative thoughts and those negative words that I've spoke. I renounce that from my life. I will not, that will not, and it shall not happen. And you speak over that, but I shall declare the works of the Lord. I shall be prosperous. I shall work my purpose in life. You know, my family shall be prosperous. I am protected. The angels camp around and about me day and night. They, they are protecting me. You know, you speak these things into existence and they will come to pass. If you constantly, if you're one that's looking for a job and like, I'll never find a job or there's no jobs out there or I can't find employment or I'll never open up that business that I wanted and this isn't working out, it'll never happen. See, if you speak those things out into existence, it's not going to happen. And that's why you're having such a hard time getting the business open. You're having such a hard time getting that job that you want. You're having such a hard time, you know, getting in that, in, in that ordained relationship that God had ordained you to be in, in that, in that um, marriage that God ordained for you. If you're speaking against those things, then it's not going to happen. But you have to speak you have to have great thoughts. That's why the, the Bible speaks about, you know, um, think on things above. I can't really quote it like I want to because I can't recall it. I, um, but it's, it's going to come to me after this video, of course. But just think on things above. Think on th good things. Good thoughts. Good thoughts is what, what brings out and manifests words that are good that comes out of your mouth that are good things think on those things so that you can begin to speak good things and speak good things into existence all right i think i've taken up too much time but just remember to be encouraged today speak on great thoughts speak on positive things speak blessings to your life remember death and life are in the power of the tongue remember that and I want you to start saying, declaring greatness in your life. Declare blessings into your life. And stop giving in to doubt. Stop giving in to negativity and stop hanging around with negative people. Have a blessed and prosperous day. See ya.